So I trained in running and climbing and fighting and falling. And for every lesson that concerned the body, there were two that concerned the mind. Language, philosophy, logic, the arts. Achilles taught most often of the assassins and Templars, their structures, origins, and purpose. Centuries of history condensed into a few short days. I told him of the men who had burned my village, of Charles Lee and my promise to him. Achilles explained that Lee and his followers were Templars, and that they were led by none other than my own father. If I was to serve the order, these men would become my targets. So I worked harder, learned faster, but for all my progress, it was clear that I still had much to learn. My training had only just begun. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Dice House for another Assassin's Creed 3 commentary, uh, bringing you our continuation of Sequence 5, where we are uh, basically, um, Connor has just started become trained as an assassin um, to uh, join the Brotherhood, or the Assassin's Order. Uh, previous um, videos have shown us, you know, from Sequence 1 on up, have shown us, you know, playing as what we now learned as uh, Connor's father, who was a Templar, um, up to, you know, uh, Connor as a young man and, no, I'm sorry, as a young boy and now as a young man as he's, uh, receiving his training from Achilles Davenport here. But let's go ahead and, uh, and get moving on with, uh, sequence five here. Good day. Good morning. To you as well. You taking a trip? I've decided to do something about the house. And you're going to help me. Get it. Seventeen seventy Boston. Don't stare. Sorry. Before we get any further in the video, come on. Can anybody tell me what happened in seventeen seventy in Boston? <laughs> this place is incredible. The people, the sounds and smells. I could walk these streets for days and know not even half its wonders. I thought the same as you upon a time. These days, I much prefer the quiet of the countryside. But there is so much life here. So many opportunities. For a few, my boy. For a few. There's a store close to here. You're to buy the items on this list. Tell them where the carriage is, and they'll see that it's loaded. Understood? Yes. Good. You're also going to need a new name. Your skin is fair enough that you might pass for one with uh, Spanish or Italian blood. Better to be thought a Spaniard than a native. You both are better still than I. That is not true. What's true and what is aren't always the same. What would you call me then? Kana. Yes, that will be your name. All right then, off you go. I cut down the travel time between them um, right there and the store. Just go where the green circle is at and you'll find it. You'll be okay. You lost? I need the items on this list. Will you be paying with coin or trade?
Some of these things I have, some I don't. Lumber's hard to come by since my supplier up and vanished. I have the tools and pitch, though. Nails, too. So, uh, where do you want this delivered? Our wagon is near the state house. I should return to Achilles. All right, quick, folks. March 5th, 1770, Boston. What happened? If you said the Boston Massacre, you are correct. <laughs> um, as you can guess here, you can see some little unrest there with some of the British soldiers and um, some of the civilians there. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to be getting in the middle of the Boston Massacre here. Um, Interesting note about the Boston Massacre. Uh, it was one of the starting um, incidents where what happened that led us to the American Revolution. Um, took place outside of the old state house in Boston, where um, British soldiers fired upon um, civilians, killing. Uh, let's see here, killing five and injuring six. Uh, three were instantly killed right there. A couple more died from their injuries later on. Um, very interesting note. Very interesting note about this. Something a lot of people don't know about is that uh, the uh, British soldiers were actually put on trial. And you'll never guess who it was that defended them. Congregating in this manner is forbidden. We're not going anywhere, bud. Why don't you go back to England? No good can come of this chaos. Return to your homes, and all will be forgiven. Never. Not until you've answered for your crimes. You're right, coward. You don't scare us. Fighting guns and unarmed. We ain't afraid. There. Is that dragon my father? Yes, which means trouble is sure to follow. I need you to tail his accomplice. This crowd is a powder cake. We can't allow him to light the fuse. But... But nothing. Do as I say and go. Come on, you gosh gutted coward! He doesn't you know, shoot at me! To hey, hear lobster! Like go that, ahead! Uh, Mr. Hatham, uh, gun. Or Hatham uh, Kenway, he, um... was the one who kind of sparked the uh, Boston Massacre here. Uh, for those of you guys who didn't guess until now, uh, John Adams, um, future president of the United States, second president of the United States, first vice president, uh, was the one who defended the um, eight soldiers. Um, six of them were acquitted, while two of them um, were um, convicted of manslaughter but given reduced sentences. Um, as you can guess, something as volatile as uh, you know this, it um, sparked a lot of outrage among the 13 colonies, especially with all the propaganda that was um, surrounded by it. Um, people, you know, still, you know, not exactly sure uh, what actually caused it um, or what actually started it, but um, it's, you know, the results, you know, the end of it, you know, is obviously clear. Your plot is ended. Not quite. Oh, damn you! Fire! Okay, folks, so as you can see right here, um, basically the objective here is you have to 
get away hide um, within 80 seconds. Really not that difficult of a thing to do provided you know where all the haystacks are at or where the hiding spots are at. The issue right now though with this game is um, Assassin's Creed 3 is unlike in previous Assassin's Creed, none of the haystacks are marked out on your map. Um, there's, to my knowledge there's no way of turning them on so you know where all your little hiding spots are at. So you basically, if you don't have previous knowledge of where they are at, um, you may want to uh, try and scout out an area uh, first, you know, to uh, find the locations for them. Because I ran around here a couple of times thinking I was, you know, free and clear, or hoping I was free and clear, and uh, ended up doubling back like two or three times on the same um, hay wagon just to uh, make sure that I could get into it and without any of them seeing me so I could uh, get this objective. However, I was able to get back, double back here and get in there just in time. And that's going to be it for this portion of this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked it, please do so and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Until next time, you guys all take care. Bye.